Hello, how's it going? So I got a lot, a uh, like untested lot of test equipment the other day. And in the pile were these two lovely things. This is, yeah, it's just a, it's just a microphone. If you uh, take the top off, you'll see it's just your simple, is that a carbon mic? I'm not sure, this might not work. I don't know whether that's carbon or not. It's, um, and then this absolutely awesome one that's like metal, it has a switch on the back. It's absolutely awesome, it's got this on the outside. I've only just started to modify it. Basically the, uh, where's the old wire? The, the insulating sleeve and in, on the inside was all cracked and uh, yeah, every time I tried to remove an outside part to uh, be able to put on the jack socket, it just broke and stuff. So it had it enough. So I've, what I've done is I've just got a guitar cable that it was broken on one side and I have started to put it in here. Uh, the thing is, is it's absolutely quite a nightmare to get it in. So I'm soldering these to their designated points. If you look in the, closely in there, you can see the switch mechanism is right there. That is uh, basically, it just turns it on and off. And this red cable coming from the microphone, this basically isolates it from the uh, rest of the circuit or not. So what we're doing is we're literally just gonna connect it up and then see what it sounds like. So the modification is actually done now. I've added a cable tie quite tightly onto the end to act as a grommet because I haven't got a spare one. But basically I've just wired it up so uh, the connections of this guitar cable are pretty much just plugged in to each side of the uh, microphone, which is right here. And uh, yeah, there's a switch in between it which makes this slightly more complicated, as you can see, which takes this red wire going from here, it goes up into here and then into this part. So there's a little uh, turret, there's a tiny turret right there which I've soldered the, uh, the, the hot end, the tip of the guitar jack. The reason why I've gone for a guitar jack instead of another jack is because uh, it's unbalanced. There's no point making uh, an XLR on the other side when you could, because this means you can also plug it into guitar jacks, you can plug it into things that have jack inputs, and then you just use a converter for an XLR cable. It hasn't got uh, free uh, connections, it's not balanced, so what's the point? Uh, so yeah, this is done. Let's have a listen and see what it sounds like, shall we? Hello, hello, check, check. Can you hear me? Now we're going to talk for the rest of this uh, out of this microphone, which is actually working now. Uh, if you can hear it, it's a little bit peaky, but it's doing something. It is working. And uh, this is literally just going into the, uh, the interface that I have on top of my camera. So... Yeah, that's that's the sound of that. It sounds sounds pretty cool. So I made this primarily for the video of the other one. Whilst I'm looking through the rest of the test equipment, I can chat through this one. And hopefully, this one actually has a more intact uh, cable on the on the end of it. I don't want to ruin it because it's it's already fine. It's got its own. It's got string. Look at the end of that. It's got string on it and stuff like that. There's the positive end, and here's the uh, negative end. I don't know whether to um, to just connect it up to see what it sounds like because it's kind of cool having these two. So I'm just going to make uh, alligator clips and just alligator clip this together. <laughs> right, let's plug this one in and see what it sounds like. I'm still talking through the other one, but I'm going to just uh, unplug this and then plug this one in right now. So first. First we've got to first we've got to plug in a cable and then I'm gonna plug it into the converter that's connected to the camera. I'm just gonna unplug you by And now and now and now and now this one should be making sound. I've accidentally unplugged it. Uh, this one has got well, it might, I don't know whether this might be a carbon microphone, so in in order to actually drive a carbon microphone this is not how you do it, but I'm doing it anyway, I'm boosting it and yeah, uh this one, this one, it needs a lot more power though, so, <laughs> I don't know, this one isn't as good, but it, I just realised my lips are right on it to get the thing, and this probably has been sitting in the sat in a garage for a very long time, so, ugh. Gotta be honest, I like this one more, this one has got a bit more oomph to it, and now I can switch oh, oh, uh, uh, off, I can switch it on and off, off. So 
so yeah there we go that is just a quick uh insight into you can literally just uh, wire up guitar cables and jack cables and stuff to old crappy things like that some of them might not work and that is because they are working on different a different premise but if they're just simple condenser microphones that looked similar to something like this well you might be in luck uh i think yeah let me know. I'm not 100% sure what these are, so it's just about it's just um, experimentation for me. But they could be carbon microphones. They might not be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, have a lovely time. Totally do. Uh, and, and watch the other video that is out now. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, then do go and check out over on my Patreon. Have a lovely time. Take care. Goodbye. Totally do.